Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I'm here today for a combination video. Basically, I bought one of those like TBR carts and I want to put it together while also doing the TBR tag. The original tag was created by a blog named A Perfection Called Books. So I will leave a link down below to the original tag and I will also leave a link down below to my friend Danny's video of this tag because this is basically where I got the idea from. We're gonna open this box with my handy dandy box cutter. Thank you to my old job, Toys R Us. I don't wanna grow up on a Toys R Us. I have 50 billion of them lying around the house and it's extremely helpful to have them. Oh my god, this looks scary. How am I supposed to take anything out? Oh lord. Oh, I got it. Now that we have everything out of the box, let's get to the first question, which is how do you keep track of your TBR pile? So basically I use this app called Notion and on Notion I have a list of all the books that I own that are unread and they're separated by hardcovers, paperbacks, and classics. So I have everything there, but that closet, that's my TBR closet. I have all my books in there and I try to pick from them every month to do my TBR. I got a white colored one just because pretty much all the furniture in my room besides this bookshelf, which I'm going to be changing anyways are white so I just figured I might as well get something that matches. So the next question is is your TBR print or ebook? So the majority of my TBR is physical books that's just the way I prefer to read. If I do read on ebooks it's usually when I take a book out from my library that I'm super interested in reading or I'm buddy reading or there's an immediate reason why I need to read it and I don't have a physical copy in my TBR closet I will rent the ebook. I also buy novellas on ebooks I just think it's much easier. Sometimes novellas are upwards of like 15 to 20 dollars here in Canada and I just don't feel like that's nice so I tend to buy novellas on my Kindle but yeah just to answer this question the majority of my owned physical TBR is physical books we also have these trays some stuff in here I'm guessing are the like legs columns to hold it up oh no I didn't think this through I need a screwdriver now I know I'm giving off top energy vibes in this video because I am putting something together but your bitch does not know how to build things so let me go see if we even have a cross point screwdriver and a wrench maybe did they provide it maybe they provided it oh my god they did and they even gave me a little wrench oh my god okay so the next question is how do you determine which books from your tbr to read next so basically this comes down to the reason i bought this tbr cart is because i do have specific things i try to tackle within the year for my tbr so over the last like four years i've had 12 fiction books and 12 non-fiction books that i want to read every year usually the 12 fiction books tend to be the books that are the oldest on my tbr so you can count it like that and the nonfiction are just usually an accumulation of nonfiction books that I have and I try to make it a thing to read one at least once a month so I will be taking that into 2021 basically all the nonfiction books I have if they add up to 12 or 10 or 11 whatever the hell they add up to they will be going into this cart as one of the levels on my TBR cart and then what I also want to do in 2021 is to put all like my really anticipated reads that I really want to read on this cart as well so I see them and I don't skip over them when I'm looking in my TBR closet and then other than that I guess it's just like the vibe of what I want to read that month unless I have books that I need to absolutely read a book taken out from the library usually what I end up doing is picking books at random in my closet so I think this TBR cart will help me focus on books I really want to read books that have been here the longest that I should read and then the non-fictions that I try to read every year I also want to incorporate classics into that so I'm thinking of actively trying to read at least one classic a month like most book readers I think I I buy a lot of classics with the hopes of enjoying them and reading them and then they just kind of like sit there. Ever since I graduated from my English degree, I haven't picked up classics willingly. I'm really hoping to adjust that into 2021. Assemble the mesh basket and bottom bind pipe first, then insert the upper pipe. So I guess it's this. Then add an upper pipe, which is like one of these guys. Oh no. I realize like the way this is set up, you might not see what's happening. Yeah, I guess this will do. I guess this works, whatever. So the next question is a book that has been on your TBR the longest. And I would definitely say it's books that I've potentially bought in 2017. So 2017 or 2016 really was around 
the time that I discovered booktube and that's when I bought like the majority of my backlist collection and like I said actively every year I really do try to read books that have been on my TBR the longest because I've spent money on them and I want to finish reading them. I have an email folder on my Gmail of all my book receipts to see how old some books are and which books I need to put into priority. So according to my Gmail, one of the oldest books I have is Out of the Blue by Sophie Cameron and I literally cannot even tell you what this book is about. So basically it's about this girl named Jaya who her mom mysteriously dies and these beings start falling from the sky and not a single one has survived and I'm assuming these beings are like angels because they're described as like having wings and stuff and then one day a being falls right to her feet this sounds super fucking interesting and so this would be a perfect example of a book that i would probably put here to actively remind myself to add this to my tbr so next we're gonna add this shelf and then assemble two more rods so the next question is a book you've recently added to your tbr and i just got one in the mail today hold on and that is the fire never goes out by noelle stevenson noelle stevenson wrote nimona which is one of my favorite graphic novels and when i heard that she was putting out like a memoir of her young adult life in graphic novel format i knew that i needed to pick this up because it's a graphic memoir i tend to read these quite quickly so i'm probably going to pick this up relatively soon and i'm super excited about it because I just I love Noelle Stevenson's art and this will be like an extremely personal experience that I'm really looking forward to diving into let me just add the remaining columns Can you still see me? The next question is a book on your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. And for that, I have The Incendiaries by R.O. Kwan. I bought this book, first of all, because of this gorgeous cover, but also because it's about cults. And if you know anything about me, I love cults. I think not that I would join a cult, not like I'm that level, but I find cults super, super interesting. And this book really piqued my interest. And basically it's about these two people who meet at their first month in a prestigious university. And basically Phoebe is drawn into this secretive cult that is tied to North Korea and it's founded by an eccentric student that graduated previously. The guy, Will, is kind of struggling to keep her from joining this cult, from what I understand. But like, look at this cover. This book is definitely just on my TBR because I saw the cover, heard it was about a cult, added it. And then the next question after that is a book on your TBR that you never plan on reading. I wouldn't include this on my TBR, but it's the Bachman books, which are four early novels by Stephen King in this gorgeous edition, which I'm guessing is from the 80s. It's a hardcover. So this is a collection that has Rage, The Long Walk, Roadwork, and The Running Man. I basically plan to read all of them except rage so i don't know if i would pick them up in this format i do have the long walk and the running man in different editions in my tbr closet so i don't know if i would exactly read this but i obviously adore having it i'm terrified of reading rage which is bachman's book about a school shooter i just i don't want to i just don't want to read that so and so now i guess we'll put this at the top. So the next question is an unpublished book on your TBR that you are excited for. I have a lot of unpublished books on NetGalley that I am reading for review and one of those is Persephone Station by Stina Leck and this first of all the cover talking about getting books because of their cover this is one that completely drew me in right away just due to the cover and honestly I don't know much about it but essentially it is about a backwater planet called Persephone Station and and it, this planet has been like largely ignored by the United Republic of Worlds, which I'm guessing is what we have in the future. That's like the United Nations. But then this planet becomes the focus of one of their projects because the planet has a few secrets that this corporation wants to exploit. So I'm super, super excited to read this. I'm probably going to read this in December, but it sounds super interesting. So the next question is a book on your TBR that basically everybody's read but you. And for that, I chose It by Stephen King. I feel like everybody has either read this or knows what it is about and i recently watched the it movie and i was really transfixed by the way that the monster in the novel transforms into these kids fears and what this book really is about is the fear of growing up at least 
that's how I interpreted it. And I'm super excited to give this a go. I really enjoy Stephen King. I think he has a lot of interesting ideas. As you can see, like I have quite a bit of him on my TBR. So I'm excited to give this one a go. And I feel like everybody's read it but me. And the next question is a book on your TBR that everybody recommends to you. And for that, I have Battle Royale by Kushan Takami. I've been recommended this for many many years first of all this is like one of the most well-known translated works i feel i feel like it's pretty well known i also love the hunger games and the concept of the hunger games is pretty similar to this one so this one basically follows it's in the future and one class of junior high school students is taken to a deserted island where they essentially have to fight to the death i did see the movie like maybe eight or nine years ago at this point and I don't remember it at all. I kind of remember who wins but I think the ending is different in the novel. So this is something that is highly highly recommended to me all the time. People are kind of shocked that I've never read Battle Royale. This is one probably that I will have to put on the shelf because it's huge and it scares me. Much like It by Stephen King which also is huge and scares me. So the next question is a book on your TBR that you've been dying to read and for that I'm gonna go with The House at the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune because everybody has been saying such wonderful and wholesome things about this book. So basically it's about this man. He works at a job where he needs to visit different orphanages I think. He does his job well but he never like bonds with the kids or like bonds with the people who own the homes until he goes to this one home that is a house at the Cerulean Sea. Basically he meets a man named Arthur who takes care of these magical children that live at this home and apparently it's super wholesome super sweet so this is one that will definitely be going into this tbr card because i really 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 want to prioritize it come 2021 and then the next question is how many unread books are on your tbr and i think as of this point it's before christmas and before my birthday so obviously this number will increase but i have about 130 books on my tbr and that is not a real issue for me i'm not like ashamed to have that many books on my tbr maybe for some people it's a bit extreme but for me i know i'm gonna get to them and even the books that i have since 2018 before that the oldest books on my tbr were from 2016 and i did pre prioritize them over the last last two years and have read them all so to me I see my unread books as more of a challenge over anything else okay so now we're putting on the wheels I hope this is easy <laughs> I'm a little bit terrified it's done so that's the end of tag questions so maybe the top one could be like my immediate TBR. We'll do TBR of the month, then books I'm really excited for, old books that I need to prioritize. Maybe the last ones could be books that terrify me to read. And then we'll do like a classics somewhere. Ah, she's so cute. That's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell because it does really help me. Even a dislike helps me. You know what? Let's normalize dislikes. Dislike it if you want to. Argue with me below in the comments because you know I love to debate and I don't know how to end these things. So I guess I will see you next time.